Well, this is it, the last stretch. Um, got the permits yesterday. Gonna be finishing on October 1st, uh, 2022 from Canada. Um, have some pretty nice, short, easy days in Glacier um, to finish it out with uh, with some some beauty. So really excited for this section. Really excited to get to Canada, but also not. <laughs> My pack is way too heavy. Canada is not gonna come easy. Got multiple 2,000 foot climbs between here and there. So I'm starting with the first one now. Super cool, a black bear just ran about, I don't know, 50 feet in front of me by those trees. Neat. There he is. Hey bear. Today is the longest of the days we have scheduled for Glacier National Park. Uh, 24 miles until the campsite for today and one big uphill and then it's all down and flat. So it's going to be awesome. So up there is Triple Divide Peak, which is a really rare feature in nature. It's essentially a three-way continental divide. So everything from this side of the ridge flows into the Atlantic Ocean, everything from that side flows into the Pacific, and everything from this side flows into the Arctic Ocean. Pretty neat. is still incredibly hot not super bad temperature wise maybe in the 70s but that sun is bright and these burn zone I just feel myself getting burned It is incredibly hard for a camera to capture how stunning this place is. I dawdled a little too much in some of the pretty areas today, so I'll be hiking late again, and I don't plan on getting to camp until well after dark. So most of the day was incredibly hot and exposed, but clouds have moved in. It is supposed to rain tomorrow all day. It's a little bit of a bummer to be missing stuff. 
we have to hike at night. Gotta start early. Yesterday I did not get out of camp early. Um, the sun doesn't rise until after 7.30 and makes it really hard to get up and move in. Um, they got slowed down a bunch by all of the beautiful views and although it's only 26 miles to do yesterday, uh, had to hike late into the night, which is really unfortunate because missed a lot of really beautiful waterfalls and views, I think, um, in the night. But uh, getting an early start today, mostly because the forecasted storm this afternoon, so trying to get as many miles in um, before the storm hits. Do have two passes to go over, one this morning and one right before we get to camp. Um, so hopefully the lightning and thunder will hold off, at least for those. The sun was piercing and hot yesterday. It's cold and rainy today. But the good news about all this is that it makes finishing all the more sweeter because you're done with all the misery. Overgrown trails are bad enough, but wet overgrown trails are the worst. Grizzly bear. Right there. He's walking up this trail. Oh my, what did we do? What? He's at least he's little. Good job, bear. You're doing your bear stuff. Hey bear. Rainbow. Well, I could be wrong, but looks like the clouds have gone away and we might have a sunny day for the rest of the day would be incredible. Clouds be moving in again. There's a glacier hiding behind those clouds. Moose. Oh yeah, that storm is coming, but thankfully we found a shelter just in time. It's clearing up again. I can't get over how perfectly we played that. Should have. So pushing to get to camp even though we stopped for over an hour to wait out the weather. But it's gonna be late night. Dang, it's a big moose. Oh this moose up above us too. Mom and her baby. Guy. Looks like I'll be ascending into the fog up and over the pass. So 
So I originally thought today was going to be a nice short 20 mile day. Turns out it was, it's going to be a 23 mile day to the campground. That's okay. Just uh, another hour or so of walking. Um, we'll definitely get there after dark for sure. Um, sun is already about to set and still got about five miles left. So another, another thing of night hiking, but it was good to be able to take shelter from the storm. So I think it's worth it. It is the last full day on trail, and it starts in a cloud. It's hard to believe that I'm 25 miles from Canada. I'm not going to get there today. Uh, intentionally going to stop shy of the border and uh, do a morning, a short morning tomorrow to, to finish out. But yeah, it's crazy to think that I'm so close to something I've been working for for so long. Um, I did the Appalachian Trail in 2016, the Pacific Crest Trail in 2018. Um, when I, within the first week of the AT, I knew that I was going to shoot for the Triple Crown. Um, and I've put a lot of my life on hold for these trails. Um, it's taken a lot of energy and uh, frustration and uh, money and time and effort to get these things done um but it's been so worth it and yeah i'm being a little nostalgic <laughs> um being that close to the end of that dream this is slightly miserable it's a little cold it's a little wet but wow it is beautiful yeah, these clouds do obscure the views, but there's definitely something oddly beautiful about it. And in other news, this is what bear poop looks like. So it's quite big. Um, they eat a lot of berries and grass, so you see that in their poop. This one is relatively fresh. Um, but yeah, they mostly eat uh, plants and only eat um, animals if they're already dead or if they're desperate. big climb on the trail. From here on out, it's a big down and then flat to Canada. So deep in the valley as it gets dark here. Pretty quick, um, about an hour earlier than usual. Not sure why these miles feel so slow. Um, had a 23 mile day today, uh, still about three miles out of camp. Um, left kind of early um, as the sun rose and still hiking until sun will set all the way. Um, definitely stopping a lot to take in the views and process things. So. Maybe that's why things are slowing down a little bit, but wouldn't have it any other way. There's Canada. It 
This seems only fitting to have ramen as a last dinner of a through hike. So last morning, I have about three miles to the monument. And the sun has come out for this day, which is incredible. I still have a couple miles to go, but I'm already getting emotional thinking about it. Getting there, finishing this trail. Now it's a selfie.